Uh, another uh, primary area comes front and center, and that is women. Uh, women are front and center at Outshine's 25th anniversary at the Ladies Spotlight Film and Party on Saturday, April 29th. It's going to be at 7.15. The film is called Love Proof. This very charming film is about a divorce settlement that elegantly mixes, at times, very dark humor with warm and melancholy and has great rich character portrayals by an all-star and fantastic cast. The special women's event features uh, like bites, food, open bar, and a lot of fun. And the ladies' spotlight film and party is Saturday, April 29th. So tell us about that film. Yeah, I, I love this. And again, I love all of our films, but this especially, it, this it's sort favorite? of, it's I, I, I can't say that. It's like your favorite child. I have one, but I would never say. Um, it, it's a film that everybody would like. Um, and again, we sort of pigeonhole often into genders, like it's a female film, it's a male film. But this really is, it's a thriller, it's a suspense, neither very scary or very suspenseful, but for <laughs> kind of, you know, terminology, we'll call it a thriller suspense. So it, it isn't something that might typically be thought of as a gay and lesbian, but the main characters are, are lesbian. And it just really, again, tells their story um, and many twists and turns. But it's a really sort of fun um, par a film that would be good to sort of have a party related to. So, you know, one of the things that I, I want to ask you all about in, in terms of the programming and the festival itself, I can feel a little bit uh, in our conversation uh, tonight about the festival that we don't want to develop these buckets or these silos <laughs> too much. My reaction is, well, wait, why not? Because there's no problem with that. We're the LGBTQ plus community for a reason. And if women are interested in, in lesbian film, they should have that. If trans are interested in trans film, they first have and, the and we that. should all enjoy each other's and, films. And, and exactly. And then all of our choices uh, allow to uh, allow us to follow that. But first and foremost, we're giving respect to the different silos in our community. Why? This, this I, year, I just want to say this, this, this year, one of our board members, my board wife, beside Amy McGrady, is my face. dear, lovely, lovely friend, Jennifer Chris, who's done the most amazing job putting together a women's committee and working with Joe tirelessly to pick the right film for the women's spotlight. She is so excited about this movie. And of course, she'll be there with her beautiful model, uh, actress girlfriend P Patricia Velasquez who is so talented and such a good friend of our festival received our award of course we did Liz in September her film some years back for women's night with about 200 women at that event so we do know we can get the women out and it doesn't have to be just when Patricia is going to be there but we want to make sure that we get that kind of showing for all of our movies yeah, absolutely. It, and for me it's less about we do do a good job of creating these, as you'll call them, silos of women's films, trans films. I want people to not feel uncomfortable going out of their own silo. Right. So it's not attracting more, it is attracting more women to women's film, but it's also attracting men to women's films. It's attracting men and women to trans films. It's, it's sort of trying to breach all... So many of our films are so good that it's just like I want an audience to see it, regardless of who that audience is. The you know th the three trans films we have are fantastic, and to me, people need to see that. Yeah. Amy, male, how female, you female, trans, non-trans. Amy, the the after party. What's it like for you going to the women's spotlight party? I'm kind of curious for your take on it. I love it as long as there's dancers. <laughs> <laughs> meaning girl. You're meaning girl. meaning you or girl dancer. Uh, okay. Not you, Will. Well, not All you. Right. I was going to say I love dancing, so, but <laughs> yeah. apparently that's not what you. That's meant. not the. But we do yeah. get a <laughs> lot of women to the party, and it's a great social uh, few hours for the yeah, women to come out. All right. Together. Well, it's a it's a signature event on uh, the program, the Ladies Spotlight Film and Party, Saturday, April 29th at 7:15. I can tell you one thing about the Women's Spotlight Party is I met my wife at one of those oh, after well, parties. 20 go. years ago. Yeah. So. That wow. was the huh. lead next time. Amy. Yeah. Is that called burying the lead? <laughs> and, yeah. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. 
like this broadcast, and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.